What is going on everybody and welcome to a sort of quick fire review but a review nonetheless here. So I only really do this for Call of Duty but I'm going to be doing one for Resident Evil Village. Uh, 8 Village of course by the uh, the series I just called it Resident Evil Village but the full game obviously is Resident Evil 8 Village. Here. So yeah I'm very excited to uh, continue uh, well c continue to talk about this game because it is very good. Uh, so um, I'm aiming to get around 44 videos in the playlist altogether so this would be the 40th. And then the other four videos are going to be on Reverse when it comes out. I believe it's going to be coming out in the next uh, week or so. So um, that should be exciting. Uh, so there'll be some videos on that. About four videos altogether. We'll see. Uh, but yes, anyway. So I really enjoy it. So anyway, we might as well go into the thing. So we'll talk about the story, the gameplay, and then the uh, the bosses, I think, as well. So the story, I really did like. I really liked it. I thought it was a good idea. I liked how it all worked and stuff with um, how you came into fighting the bosses and stuff I thought that was really cool I thought the uh, I thought um, as of the story uh, just worked nicely how everything uh, went and stuff and uh, you know I really like playing as Ethan I do like I, I know some people were kind of eh around Ethan but I do like him I thought he was very good and stuff and um, yeah so um, with Ethan you know obviously he's looking for his daughter and stuff he settled down for a life. There will be spoilers, by the way, of course. Settles down here with what he thinks is his wife, but actually it's Mother Miranda. But obviously we don't know that until towards the end of the game. Of course, uh, Ethan, though, um, gets attacked by Chris. It looks like Chris is some sort of asshole. Now, I actually predicted that it was uh, either Chris working for somebody, uh, working for somebody, and that it was something different, or uh, that was the first one, or it was a clone, an evil clone like in Resident Evil 6 when there was the... Two ver there was two. The, there was the real Ada Wong, and then there was the fake Ada as well, uh, the evil one. So um, those are some of the ones that I, uh, some of the ideas that I had uh, with this game. Also, um, uh, also with the, the story as well. Obviously, you have Ethan waking up because Mother Miranda here, of course, uh, destroyed the truck, and he makes his way to the village. Of course, uh, he then, um, you know realizes that the uh, the monsters have taken over the village pretty much and all the pretty much the people left are dead there are some survivors you find but they end up all dying pretty much uh, because uh, someone was infected and they ended up uh, turning into one of the monsters and killing everybody else there except for you you get away of course you end up then inter getting introduced to the four lords here which we'll go into a little bit more in depth there but um in the end basically obviously yeah you kill one of them then you kill the next the next the next until you end up fighting Mother Miranda, of course, obviously Ethan technically dies, but then again it's found out to be that he actually has been dead since the beginning of Resident Evil 7 when uh, he was attacked by Jack Baker um, uh, after fighting um, Eva, uh, uh, Mia, sorry, not Eva, Mia, and of course here he ends up getting his daughter at the end but uh, staying behind, although people think he's dead, he might not actually be dead. Ethan Winters might still live on here in the Resident Evil verse, although Resident Evil uh, universe, obviously, it did say the father's story is over at the end of it. But of course, it showed Rose as an adult getting into a car with uh, one of um, Chris's men, um, and obviously, Rose is what Evelyn was meant to be. Uh, so that should be interesting to see where that goes. And obviously, it was um, now we don't know if it's been like say because she looked about at least fifteen in that. Uh, um, in in that ending scene, but then again, it, it might not have been 15 years. It, she might age quicker uh, than the rest. Uh, she might age like a dog, you know, seven times faster than a human, and maybe that's the same with her. And uh, it's only been a couple years, and she's actually just, um, you know, she just grows up quicker, basically. That 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 is very much, um, you know, obviously that's very much a possibility. So um, with that obviously when the car drives off you do see a figure and uh, a lot of people have actually found out that it is the model of Ethan so uh, there's that uh, which should be interesting uh, to see if Ethan actually is still alive um, I don't know if we'll be playing as Rose in the next game Resident Evil 9 which is currently being worked on um, I don't know uh, but apparently uh, it will be also first person again uh, so we'll see where that is uh, Resident Evil 4 by the way as well I just thought I'd say this as well we'll be getting a remake as well that's currently being worked on as well uh, but anyway, so that is the story. I I, I do rate. It. I give the story probably a solid eight out of ten. Honestly, I really did like it and stuff. Um, and I've I've always liked the Resident Evil lore story, uh, just throughout the all the games and stuff. Um, so now let's move on to the gameplay. I thought the gameplay was uh, was quite smooth. I thought the gunplay was very good. Um, 
and I um, <coughs> the gunplay was really good. I like the upgrades you can make for it. Uh, I will uh, talk about the merchant as well in this, um, but I'll put in with the uh, the, um, the the other characters basically talking about the characters uh, section. But um, the gunplay was gr uh, was good. I liked using all the weapons that I got the chance to use, um, and um, you know it was uh, uh, the the gameplay. Um, it just it just it just works. <laughs> but no, it just uh, it worked really well, and um, I thought um, that it was it just went through really well. Um, as I said, the, the guns sounded great. They sounded like proper guns. You know, some games do not make them sound like guns, um, but uh, yeah, no, the guns sounded real realistic, and uh, yeah, they were very um, just very nice to use. Um, now moving into uh, the final section because I don't really have anything else to say is the uh, characters and stuff. So you have the um <coughs> you have the monsters and stuff. I'm just all right, so sorry, I'm back. Uh <laughs> sorry about that. I just had to uh, go speak to somebody that was all. Anyway, sorry, I'm back anyway. So moving on now to the character section of the other characters. So obviously, I liked Ethan. Ethan obviously was you know, uh, obviously I wish we could, did get to see his face at the end. Unfortunately, we didn't. Uh but as for the rest, um obviously I'll talk about the protagonist just a second, but I'll talk about, you know, Chris has always been my favorite character in the Resident Evil verse. I feel like his ch his face has changed quite a lot though. Um but um has changed a bit over the uh, over the years I've noticed but um, still always like Chris and uh, even though he was a bit in the dark and stuff and there was actually a bit at the beginning where he sounded like he was like treating Ethan like he was a dog or something because when he when he was like what are you doing with my daughter and he goes Ethan no sounds like <laughs> he's like no bad dog bad Ethan uh, that, 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 that looked sounded a bit goofy but then again uh, the thing is with Resident Evil as well they've always managed to do that with uh, the games and stuff make them uh, so like they are you take them seriously but not really seriously you know like th they do have those uh cr cringy kind of like they say cringy like cheesy lines i think quite cheesy that that is resident evil though and I, I i like that about the game though and i think that's what a lot of other people do like as well but um um so yeah anyway so um obviously mia she wasn't in it for too long but she was all right uh obviously uh but you know she was mia from the first game pretty much um course Evelyn made an appearance but it's just Evelyn but anyway so um, I'll talk about the Lords now and Mother Miranda herself oh but first before I do that actually the merchant I do like um, I do like the merchant uh, oh shit what was his name again uh, Duke that was it sorry the Duke I don't know how I don't, it just his name went out of my mind then for a second but yeah the Duke so um, he the problem is with the Duke he was a, he was a great character he's he was absolutely brilliant you know and obviously he does know the merchant from a uh, Resident Evil 4, apparently they were friends, because uh, he says a line uh, from what the merchant in Resident Evil 4 says, um, but uh, what are you buying, that was it, yeah, so obviously there's that, um, I feel like though his stock was a little ridiculous, because it's meant to be a survival horror game, and that was the problem with Resident Evil 8 as well, uh, with the, the, they thought Resident Evil 7 was too scary or something, I, I didn't think it was too scary, I thought it was deep, I thought it was, you know, pretty, it had scary moments, but it was a good balance. Um, but they thought, but some people said it was too scary, so <laughs> therefore Capcom made this one less scary, which it was. I'd say out of the two, Resident Evil 7 was definitely the scarier one. But I will say that um, out of the two, um, I feel like I would um, rate Resident Evil Village actually higher than uh, Biohazard. But uh, still, I really look, like both of them. They're really good uh, Resident Evil games. I mean, they're a bit of an improvement on Resident Evil 6, even though I don't mind Resident Evil 6. I know a lot of people do not like that one. And Resident Evil 5, I haven't actually played that one yet. I need to get a play Resident Evil 5, which does get me into a, a bit of a quote a minute. Uh, well, not a quote, but a, a reference to Resident Evil 5 from one of the characters when I talk about them. So anyway, so now we will talk about... But the Duke, he's great. Now we'll talk about the four lords. So the first lord we want to talk about is... The Lady Demetrae, uh, Lady Demetrae. Um, yes, I know how to pronounce her name now very well, and I can remember her name very well. But at the beginning, uh, during my playthrough, um, uh, yes, I didn't was struggling to pronounce it. Um, there is something about my. Uh, I just want to apologise for that playthrough as well, but I'll talk about that right at the end. So, moving on to the next character. Uh, but uh, sorry, wait, wait, I can't just move on. She was brilliant, the Lady Demetra. I was hoping she'd stay in it for a bit longer. A lot of people were hoping that as well, but I don't think Capcom really realised that she was going to be this well liked. But yeah, no, she was great. Her daughters, they didn't really have much um, growth, but they were okay. Uh, but um, 
uh, she was great. Uh, the, the, the daughters were Bella, Cassandra, and um, Danielle. That was it, yeah. But um, as I said, uh, but Lady Demetria was probably the best of the lot, although Heisenberg was very close. But I'll, but uh, we might as well talk about him now then. Heisenberg, um, of course, he was the last lord you end up fighting. He was uh, pretty much one of, uh, pretty much of the game. I think my favorite character of this game, even though I know Chris is obviously my favorite character, but he wasn't. But I felt like Heisenberg just kind of stole the show a little bit in terms, um, for me anyway, he did. And I just thought he was, he was funny. He was interesting interesting that's what the thing is him and the lady demetria were the most the two most interesting out of all the enemies and that includes um out of mother miranda as well uh, that includes more interesting than mother miranda herself but um it was interesting to uh, but um but of course uh, he was a guy that was obviously forced into joining miranda's family and stuff and he was trying to get revenge in her in the end but there was a funny quote when you're fighting him he says after i kill you i'm going after that boulder punching bastard or whatever he said um which of course is a reference to resident evil 5 when chris redfield uh punches a boulder <laughs> uh, yes he actually punches an actual boulder <laughs> several times um <laughs> but yeah that was uh, i mean they were making fun of themselves there because they knew that it was quite silly i mean you can't actually really i mean like actually fully punch a boulder it doesn't matter how muscly or strong you are could maybe push one but you'd probably need multiple people but then moving on to uh <laughs> the other two um that did intrigue me from their designs uh but they weren't you didn't really learn a whole lot about them i don't think was of course donna beneviento and of course moreau i might as well talk about them together because really uh <laughs> there wasn't really much i did like the area of donna beneviento that was very interesting there was no weapons and stuff that was that horrific baby thing that d that thing i genuinely cannot stand that thing was horrific to look at that was i was i don't even know what went behind that design but yeah then you've got the um uh but i thought that was really good her boss fight was uh, well it wasn't really a boss fight it was kind of eh but um yeah no um obviously don't uh the the puppet was called angie and uh the lady was called the the lady the puppet the doll maker was uh Donna Beneviento, but I thought uh, that one was decent. I did like, um, and then Moreau, as for him, he was uh, a guy that had serious issues, I feel like, seriously, and uh, he, he was disgusting to look at, if I'm being honest with you, he was, uh, but I liked the design, I liked what they, the idea, I thought that was, um, I thought that was uh, quite good, and uh, how he then ends up mutating into a fish was quite good, but serious issues that guy had, but he was uh he was decent um <laughs> just a uh, guy though he had serious issues and was a bit of a suck up to mother miranda uh as talking about mother miranda we might as well now go into the section talking about mother miranda and that was that is of course um that she didn't really get much screen time but it was interesting to find out that she was one of the reasons to why umbrella was created of course oswald e spencer who was in resident evil 5 who was killed by albert wesker uh, of course um uh, of course he was quite, uh, he was the guy who created Umbrella, and he was a student of uh, Mother Miranda, of course. And Mother Miranda had lived for over a hundred years, remember, because she had, she was, um, she'd done an experiment on, on herself, and she, obviously the whole point, she wanted Rose to reincarnate her daughter, basically, uh, that she lost when she was younger. But, uh, when, when she was just a babe, when her daughter was just a baby, so, obviously it did work, and it ended up just being Rose. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, but Mother Mother Miranda, there wasn't really other interest other than the fact about Umbrella. But, yeah, that was really it, really. And, to be honest with you, uh, that was, you know, Resident Evil Village was very good, and I very much did enjoy it. And I hope um, that there was more goodness uh, to come from Resident Evil. Not that I'll be able to really cover it on my channel, but just for myself and stuff. But uh, I really did enjoy this, and they are, of course, making the DLCs. I don't know if they'll be coming out in 2021. I don't think so. Um, as for um, now as for the series by the way and I do want to apologize for I think that nearly the first half of the series pretty much um, the reason why the audio is quite quiet is because I changed capture devices and it was the first full series well it was the second series but the first series I actually recorded Assassin's Creed Unity but I decided not to upload that I've been that series off um, 
but I this was the first series I was editing and I edited it I, I put the sound like I would on my old capture device but um, basically it was the gameplay was too quiet uh, not uh, usually it was always quite loud with my other one and I had to turn it down so I ended up turning it more down than I didn't need to nowadays I don't in the audio I don't even touch the uh, I don't even touch the uh, audio for the gameplay because it's at a nice volume. So yeah, I just wanted to apologise for the first half of the play th playthrough and also my voice was a bit quiet as well at times, or even too loud. Uh, but um, it's alright, that was a learning cup. Every other series now will be pretty good. But yeah, anyway, this is my review of Resident Evil Village. I really did enjoy it and I uh, give the whole game uh, together. I'd give, well, I'd give, I'd never actually rank the gameplay. The gameplay gets a probably a 9 out of 10. The characters all together, I'd give a, a 7 out of 10, I think. Um, but the game as a whole, I will give it a solid 8 out of 10. Resident Evil 8 Village gets an 8 out of 10. But yeah, anyway, um, good game, would recommend. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Alright, bye. <laughs>